Hi guys and welcome to GSTOOP TV where we thrill you with amazing video all day long. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to this Hi there and welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Become a member of this community, go through our content. I'm sure you enjoy what you see there. To become a member, you have to subscribe, of course. And also right beside the subscribe button, there is a red bell. Just click on that bell. That is notification bell. And so doing, you will not miss any uploads from here. And if this is not your first time, I enjoy you to subscribe. What are you waiting for already? You enjoy what you see here. So kindly subscribe to this channel. Also, in the course of this video, definitely we enjoy this video because it's another interesting video for your viewing pleasure please give this video a thumbs up like it share with your family and friends having said that let's get right into the video of the day in this video we'll be shining light on one of our celebrities one of the public figures the one person who is currently in a movie that everybody's anticipating the movie is going to be on netflix although and it is from one of the directors that is making a wave in the nigerian industry movie industry of course currently i mean hearing that woman's name you know that yes there is something beautiful going to come out, especially with the cast and crew that she works with currently. <laughs> Only the best from her. I'm talking about none other than Laburu of the King of Boys, Eniola Salami, whose real name is Shola Shobowale. So guys, let's talk about Shola Shobowale. Growing up, what it is for her, her current net worth, family background. There was a time she even left the country. What brought her back into the country? And how featuring in Kennedy Tiba's movie has sort of changed her life and made her acting even better. Now, let's start with Shala Shobawale is from Ondo State, born to the family of teachers, which is why it is not surprising when, as a young girl, she wanted to be either a teacher or a nurse. Of course, her father wanted her to be a teacher, but her mom wanted her to be a nurse. But then, as luck would have it, look what we have here. She's one of the veteran and most sought after, the most loved female male actress or female actor that we have in the country at the moment now but on the 26th of december 1965 she is currently 55 years old and she is a mother of five let's talk about growing up for her she studied music in school but because of a love for acting she switched to theater arts now let's talk about who brought her into the acting or the career that is acting now our brother-in-law used to be a lecturer a friend and it was kind of very close to her immediate family yes so seeing that she has a flair for acting and whatnot he encouraged her to try and take on acting as a profession her parents of course you know that was the years that being an actor was frowned upon by the society nobody wanted an actor daughter nobody wanted to be associated with actors they thought of them as irresponsible lazy remain very loose individual so it was with the help of our brother-in-law that our parents were convinced to let her pursue acting as a career and then that is how she gave up her childhood dreams of being either a doctor or a teacher now she started acting and her first role is suradi taylor which actually did not bring her into so much limelight but then she went on to act in other movies and thereafter she featured in the super story oh father oh daughter as Tony Tomato, who was married, or oh, I mean, in an affair, so that was with Suara. And that was when a career took off because people could relate to her role in that movie. She even said it severally in interviews that her role in that series um, saved some marriages because said women would come to her and say yes their marriage had a certain twin tomato and you know the way so around the family took the whole story it just helped their family and all of those things so yes that was what brought her into limelight and since then she's gone ahead to feature in over 70 i mean close to 100 movies and she's won several awards as a result she's a producer not just a uh, an actor she's a producer she's an entrepreneur she's even a director her first directorship or directorial role was in the movie wedding party that was directed also by kemi adetiba but she co-directed that movie alongside adeswa itomi kemi adetiba that was her first director role but then she first produced the movie in 2001 on okos somida which featured two of her children taiwo and kende shobawali it's also featured messi ayegbe gentry and a host of others and of course adebayo salami now speaking of adebayo salami and his role in shola shobawali's life when she started out as an actor 
and trying to find her foot in the industry. She was a part of Adebayo Salami's group, the Awada Kerry Kerry group, and that was where she started her tour and she started becoming known in the industry before she moved on to DVD and taking on actual movie roles in cinemas. But then let's talk about her family. You know, of course, she's married to Ola Dotson Shobawale, who is the former chief executive officer of a co um, hospital. But then they relocated in 2016 to the United Kingdom. Given reason for her relocation, Shola Shibawale said she wasn't really connecting with acting as a career no more, seeing as, you know, that was when we had the rise of new Lollywood, new people were coming into the industry, and it seemed like, okay, these guys have kind of entered relegation, so to say. So she moved to the United Kingdom with her family to be able to give her five children proper education, be a mother to the, to the kids, and all of that. But however... She was brought back in 20... I mean, she moved before 2016, obviously, but she was brought back by Kemi Adetiba to come feature in the movie Wedding Party, and you can tell me she killed her role. Speaking of Kemi Adetiba, one of the things that Shola Shubwale has said in interviews is that thanks to Kemi Adetiba and the fact that she's passionate about her job and also she's very teachable, Kemi Adetiba has been able to push her to limits that she, as an individual, as a veteran in the industry, did not know that she had in her to do. Some of the movie roles that she's taken up over the the years is including the movie that is of course coming very soon to uh the return of <laughs> the return of salami of course labor is coming is what everybody is saying that is king of boys she said any other salami rule actually pushed her a lot out of her comfort zone and that is thanks to kemi adetiba she's featured in a whole lot of movies like i said she has a family to thank for she's an entrepreneur she's an ambassador for several brands and she's an influencer one other thing to notice about this woman is that she sells her clothes herself so when you see her work some beautiful things and she does not give credit know that this woman sat on the sewing machine machine and she made her outfit herself not only that she says she still does kitchen runs she she still does um, market runs especially for her family when they're around or when she's in the united kingdom of course people of course knows her there but then I mean, she's still able to do all of those things to a certain aspect as a woman in a house old all right guys that will be all concerning shola shobawale in this brief biography and that's what if you're wondering she is said to be worth around 450 thousand us dollars i mean convert that to nigerian currency giving the current dollar to naira rate and you can tell what she's worth in naira i will see in the next video guys don't forget if you like this video give it a thumbs up to show that indeed you like it and also subscribe if you're yet to do that bye guys